It's February 19th and marking the second Chinese solar date of the year called Yushui, or rainwater. It marks the arrival of spring rain. In honor of that, I'm sharing a sad love story that takes place during the rainy season from the southeastern province of China called Fujian. The story is called The Blue Pearl. Stick around. Once upon a time, there was a young man who worked as a pottery seller for a ceramic shop. Though a poor orphan without family, he was very hardworking and every day would shuttle heavy pots and ceramic wares to and from the shop to a stall to earn a living. To make matters more difficult, he was completely in love with the daughter of the owner of the ceramics business. She too returned his affection, but her father, named Mr. Gao, was a proud and conceited man who prohibited the match and kept the couple apart. One spring day, it began to rain continuously. The weather was so foul that the young man was unable to make a single sale. Late in the day, he packed up the ceramic wares and prepared to return home. Along the way, the rain began to worsen, and he took shelter in a temple alongside the road. The salesman bolted the doors against the wind and rain that threatened to soak the temple and fell asleep. Now, in the middle of the night, he awoke to the sound of banging on the doors, and he heard the voice of a local gambler and swindler loudly shouting against the closed doors. Who's locked the doors to this temple? It's as though the dragon king of the East Sea himself knew that I was going to steal his golden robe and pawn it tonight. Now, realizing the swindler's intention, the salesman wanted to scare him away. And so he threw all of his pots at the doors, creating such a loud series of crashing pottery that he successfully scared the other man away. Happy that he had protected the Dragon King's temple, he fell back asleep to a very strange dream. Now in this dream, a silvery, smoky dragon appeared and spoke to him. Thank you for driving away the local thief and protecting my golden robe, it said. Now in exchange for your protection, you will find a blue pearl under the incense burner. Take it, it's yours, and it will protect you against your enemies. With that, the dragon disappeared just as the young man started to wake up. Remembering the message from the dream, the young man searched the incense burner and indeed found a most beautiful blue pearl the color of the sea. He gathered the remaining shards of the broken pottery and tossed them into the East Sea as a final tribute to his protection of the Dragon King. Now, when he arrived home, the salesman sought a safe place for the blue pearl and uh, decided to sneak into the main house and find Mr. Gao's daughter. As he placed the pearl into her safekeeping, Mr. Gao stumbled upon the couple and he became so angry that the salesman was not only fraternizing with his daughter, but also that he had returned empty handed with neither money nor the original pottery that he was supposed to sell. Mr. Gao was so, so furious that he had his men tie up the poor salesman and take him to a deserted island off of the shore nearby to starve. Mr. Gao's daughter chased after them, but she couldn't really catch up. So she ended up stopping at the Dragon King's temple and prayed for assistance. That same smoky silvery dragon from before appeared to her and said, take the blue pearl and place it in your mouth. As long as you keep it there, you and your loved one will be safe. So Mr. Gao's daughter hurried back to her room to find the pearl and just popped it in her mouth. And magically she began to float up through the air and arrived on the island where the salesman had been left. And she freed him from his binds and magically had the strength to carry him on her back as she sped through the water back to the mainland. Along the way, the couple passed Mr. Gao and his men in their boat. The look of shock on their faces caused the daughter to laugh, but as she did so, the pearl fell out of her mouth and sank to the bottom of the sea. Now, without the protection of the blue pearl, the daughter was succumbed under the waves along with her beloved. Taking pity on the young couple, the underwater creatures gathered the shards of pottery that the salesman had tossed into the sea before and made a pair of gravestones side by side where the lovers lay forevermore. It is said that in time, the spirits of Mr. Gao's daughter and the young salesman who loved her 
transformed into crabs that lived off of the shore of Fujian, the shards of pottery becoming part of them, forming their shells. While there are many tragic stories in Chinese folklore and mythology involving star-crossed lovers, this one is particularly memorable for me because the couple was doomed not necessarily by outside forces, but rather through a simple mistake. A common theme in uh, many folk stories the world over is how mortals are often rewarded for their good deeds by deities or gods. And according to Taoist beliefs, dragons are strongly associated as water deities and bringers of rain. Pearls themselves are a valued treasure and are thought to protect against danger. But as the saying goes, no good deed goes unpunished. And even the dragon king and his magical pearl can't protect the couple against their own human flaws. Now, I could swear that there is a similar story in Western fairy tales or mythology, but I can't think of it right now. So if you remember what it is or think of a similar story uh, where, you know, a mistake is committed in order to break a certain enchantment, please tell me. Uh, what it is in the comments below. I know this is going to bother me until it comes to mind. So if you can help me out, I appreciate it. So I hope you enjoy this story that um, I actually first read from the Chinese Folktales blog. And if you're interested in reading more about it, I've linked to it in the description below. Thanks for watching.